I've got to be whispering because of our neighbor. We're going to be fishing this week for halibut and salmon on Kodiak Island. As you can see, the scenery is gorgeous and so is the wildlife. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy this week's show. Karlik River on Kodiak Island is probably one of Alaska's most popular and most exciting river to fish. Really well known from people all over the world, it produces some great trout and big Chinook salmon fishing. This trip begins being flown into the remote headwaters of the Karlik by float plane, your gear and possessions, fishing tackle, put aboard rubber rafts, and just using nature to propel yourself into areas where most people don't ever get to even see, let alone fish. The guides know the good spots or pools that hold the fish. So you'll pull off in these areas, maybe fish for an hour or two, maybe even for a day or two, depending on how many fish are coming through. Oh, nice job, Leroy. That's a fish. Look at that bugger. The good thing about this type of fishing is that there's always new fish moving upstream, migrating up to the spawning grounds, so fish are actually coming to you. A great way to fish for Chinook salmon. Another nice fish! Nice and bright! Yeah! From the ocean this morning! Yeah! Another one's real silver too! Right here. What a fight! Woo! Jeez, in this current, these fish are strong. Ah. He was well hooked. Okay, I think we'll take this one home and eat this one for supper. Okay. Woo, what a fight! Oh, you in this 
upstream one we're on the Karlik River on Kodiak Island, Alaska. It's the middle of July, middle of June rather, and the king salmon are just starting to come in. The one we're getting today are still really silvery, so it means they just came in off the ocean. Today we're fishing with some flies. Tomorrow we're gonna try some of my salmon eggs. But these fish are laying in this water that you can see is very shallow looking, and you wouldn't think that this size of a fish would stay in this water, and it looks like it's water that's unproductive. But if you get in, you look at it for a while, you'll see them roll and you'll see a flash. So even though you see water that doesn't look like they'll hold fish, you sit and watch a little while. First fish I had on, which was good size that I lost, is I had to go downstream chasing it. Uh, I spooked a lot of fish, and when we first got here this morning, this looked like a barren area, yet they're in here, and the average fisherman would have probably went by. The guide Steve said he has caught fish here before, and that's where a guy comes in handy. He knows the spots, and even though it doesn't look like there's fish, we've had quite a few fish on in an area that I would have said wouldn't produce any fish. So we're going to go back upstream and see how Steve's doing, and see if we can get a little bigger fish. Did some research on these trout. About a couple dozen of them this past winter. Every one of them, even the small ones, were tested by the uh, Alaska Fish and Game. They were all steelhead. in this water.
to get away with my fly. He's really, really tired. He wasn't hurt too bad, but they exhaust themselves if you don't get them in soon enough. Sometimes just the uh, the energy they utilize in the battle is enough to uh, enough to kill them. Sometimes you have to revive it for quite a long time. He's taking in oxygen, so he's probably going to be all right. You can't leave Alaska without experiencing some of its great saltwater halibut fishing. And Port Lions Lodge has just a boat to take you there. Whether it's halibut, cod, or some of the other varieties you catch, it's great eating and great fun. Got one? That a boy? Still got him? Good. Good going. in his mouth. Look at how he's chewing on that. Woo! Hit it hard. Did he? Yeah. Wow. Let me put him underneath your feet there. 